SITSI is the premier organization in cancer immunotherapy and it's becoming better recognized and uh, getting increasing respect in the general oncology field. So it's now viewed as one of the major organizations that's involved in cancer research and cancer therapy. As the field has really exploded and as mentorship from senior members of SITSI uh, became an integral part of my career development, it really then became an important part of, uh, of, of the way I think about uh, learning about cancer immunotherapy. It really is a society that's focused on immunotherapy. Uh, I think many of the other groups try to do many things uh, and if you, if you don't have that focus then there's a lot of things going on at meetings that are perhaps aren't as interesting and, and germane to the sort of things you're interested in. So I find uh, SISI to be ideal for the sort of things I'm interested in in that regard, going through uh, the whole spectrum of basic translational and clinical research. Attending SITSI has really given, given me a better understanding of why the agents that are entering the oncology arena, where they're coming from and why science is heading in the direction that it's heading, and understanding that basic science and reviewing the immune system components. The, the, it's evolving in such a way that every six months you almost need an, an immunology update. SITSI has really become the clearinghouse for all education and training related to what we now call immuno-oncology. The benefits of being a SITSI member are really to meet uh, again with uh, some of the people that, uh, you, uh, that, that, that have the same interest in immunotherapy of cancer. They have put together also very good resources online you know, to communicate uh, with other people. It's hearing what the guidelines are from SITSI, from the experts in immunotherapy, and hearing about the newest data that could impact on their practice is really now becoming of paramount importance. So SITSI really has now become one of the most important uh, organizations in cancer treatment. For me, the benefits of SITSI membership have differed depending on the year of my career and the stage in my career where I was in particular. And that's the, the real value of SITSI is that it grows with you. Well, I think SITSI has a lot to offer in terms of professional development, uh, fellowships uh, for young faculty and young uh, uh, trainees that are wanting to become faculty. Um, it also, I think, is still a small enough and niche group that getting to know the people in SITSI as members and as serving on committees and as participating in posters and various other uh, events that SITSI has really makes for for networking. The society gives so much um, to early career scientists and, and young scientists. Um, I think it's very unique um, in that it really does give opportunities for young scientists to grow beyond just the science, science skills, to really grow in those leadership and those other skills that they're going to need as they move through their career. Specifically with regard to, to young members, I think that SITSI really does go out of its way to cater for junior uh, trainees and, and faculty. Um, you know, they have a lot of events, uh, Sparkathon and various other things that are for junior faculty. It's obviously um, attracts a very diverse audience from basic researchers through to people doing translational research through to uh, clinicians running clinical trials, etc. And I think it's important that this community gets together to learn from each other. So SITSI has given our research group many opportunities to meet other scientists, form collaborations, as well as industry partners to allow for rapid translation of new therapies into clinical trials for patients. As a young professional, um, if you want to get in touch and get involved uh, in the field, I would really encourage you to become a member of SITSI. Um, both to increase your knowledge and your network, but also to um, develop your skills as a leading scientist and to uh, get new innovative ideas. I think CITC is great for that. In my first year here, my first um, meeting, I was blown away by not only the science, but also being able to have those interactions with top leaders in my field. So as a graduate student, to be able to have those conversations and have a sit down scientific conversation or even a career conversation was amazing. And I had a, a lot of colleagues who were also members who said, you know, you need to continue to be a member and becoming more involved. And I, so I think after that first experience, it was pretty much a no brainer. I was gonna be a SITSI member for life.